Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to show you how to find older operating systems to load onto your Mac. Right now this computer is loaded with macOS High Sierra, but the latest operating system that's available from Apple is Big Sur. So if we look at the versions that are available right now, uh, we're on High Sierra, but uh, Mojave comes after that, Catalina comes after that, and then now Big Sur is available. So if I want to load a newer operating system than what I have, but something that's older than Big Sur, it's a problem to find on the App Store. So if we go to the App Store, we can see, if I look for Catalina, let's say, I do a search and it doesn't come up. I can even search for Mac OS X and you'll see it doesn't come up uh, uh, either. So we don't get uh, we don't get any of those. So go back to uh, to featured and look up Mac OS. Then we see uh, we get a bunch of results, but the only operating system that we can actually see is macOS Big Sur. If we click on there, then we're able to download it. But there's no way to obviously get Catalina on. It. But there's a way to find them. They're hidden uh, in both the App Store and, and some special links for download for some of the older operating systems. So the first thing to do is to open up Safari. And once you open up Safari, uh, you go to this website here. And I'll put this link in the description below. So you just have to click on it or you can copy and paste it into your browser. And you'll get to this page here, how to get old versions of Mac OS. And from here, you can scroll down a little bit and then you'll get to this section here, download Mac OS. And then there's two sections here with three of the older operating systems each. So you can go right back to Yosemite if you need to. Now for one of the newer ones, like High Sierra that I have here, Mojave or Catalina, if I click on those, so let's say I want Catalina, then what's it gonna, it's, then what it's gonna do is to open up the App Store. And once the App Store is open, then I can choose the uh, operating system to download, and it will download to the computer uh, the full installer, and then the installer will uh, launch and then load on the computer. Then you can run through the uh, regular installation that you'd need to to upgrade the operating system on your computer. So we'll let this download. Uh, depends on your connection, how fast that'll be. These are large files. This one here is 4.9 gigabytes, so it could take quite some time uh, depending on your internet connection. Okay, now the installer has finished downloading and it's launched automatically and then we can click continue and then go through the menu screens to load it onto your computer. So I'll leave that up to you. Uh, you've probably upgraded your uh, software before, so you know the process of clicking through here. As always, make sure you have a backup, a good time machine backup, before you install any operating system on your computer in case anything goes wrong. That way you can recover your system. Now, if you do these upgrades, it won't write over your personal files, like your Word documents or pictures or anything like that. But again, make sure you have a backup in case anything goes wrong. Now, I'm not going to run this installer. I'm going to show you how the older installations also work. So we're just going to quit these. And I'm going to go back to the previous page. But let's say I wanted an older operating system. Uh, let's say Yosemite, El Capitan, or Sierra. Well, I'm going to choose Sierra here. So these aren't on the App Store anymore. So this link, if we click it, is going to download a file to our computer, an installer file, and we run that specifically and then do the installation. So I'm going to click on Allow Downloads. And from here, the download begins. I can pop it up here and see. So here it's five gigabytes, and uh, it's, it'll be called something like install os.dmg. DMGs are disk files. And uh, again, depending on your internet connection, it could take shorter or faster 
depending on uh, on your connection. So you just have to wait. It could take 20 minutes, half an hour to download. In this case, with my connection, it's going to take about five minutes. So once that downloads, then we'll get a disk image in our downloads folder, which we can click on to uh, run the installation. So instead of making you wait for that, I'll come back and I'll show you the result uh, when the download is complete. Okay, once the download is complete, you can double click on it here, or you can also find it in your downloads folder. And that will open up the DMG file, and then the installer will be in there and you'll be able to run that to install the new operating system on your computer. So a window will open up and you'll get an installer package like this. Just double click on that and it'll check to see if this can be loaded on your computer. And then you can start clicking through the menu here to install the operating system. So uh, I'm not going to click install here, but once you do that, it'll run through the process and install everything on your computer. Again, make sure you've got a good backup especially a time machine backup. So if anything goes wrong during the installation, you can recover it. Well, I hope you found that helpful. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more tips and tricks. We're coming out with new ones often. Also, share it with your friends on social media if they have a need of finding an older operating system for an older Mac or, or they want to upgrade their computer but not to the latest version. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.